Okay, I am switching tactics and I am opening up a brand new um, sandblaster because <laughs> I, oh, let me get a pair of pliers. My last sandblaster um, wore through the tip, so it started shooting stuff out everywhere. So this is a brand new one. Wow, new hose. New, ooh, that's nice and long. That's longer than my other one. My other one was only like four feet long or something, just enough for the bucket. And this is gonna go down in the bucket of sand. Ooh, what's that? Wait, there's something else. Ooh, there's some, huh, oh, that's double, double layered. Look at that, can you see that? There's two layers in there. That's new, okay. And uh, so we're gonna hook this baby up. And um, I'm gonna sandblast because I want, oh. instruction <laughs> oh yeah 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 okay 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 there we go there we go I just messed up my incoming and my suction <laughs> okay and then I have to put the um, the end that is my stuff okay and then I see that there's an allen wrench in here so I am gonna have to read directions Sometimes I'm such a guy like that, where I don't always read, I just go for it, but when I don't know, I read, I don't mind. Oh yeah, okay. Got my, got my little joint connector, and I'm gonna wrap some. Plumbing tape on here. Oddly enough, plumbing tape is so slippery. Okay, I'm gonna do it anyways. Yes. thing <laughs> it's not my favorite because it's uh, kind of busy with the sand but it works really 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 good so suiting up oh I forgot to cover my ears I gotta go cover my ears okay now I'm ready <laughs> okay we're green like go
super clean. So it was my other old tip that had worn out and was spraying stuff everywhere because that was a really clean way to go. And look at that, that is so fun. Now I'll be sandblasting more because, because, because it's not awful. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've got acorn woodpeckers right here in the tree and they're dropping, they're, they're getting their um, acorns and preparing. They're preparing themselves for the whole winter long and gathering their food and that kind of stuff. And that's what I feel like I'm doing with what I am going to be creating in my life. I am focusing on it. I'm imagining it. I can feel how eager I am about the excitement about what is coming. And uh, it is super fun. So I really, I love that these guys are coming in right here, right now and playing with me because I'm doing the same thing that they are. And the woodpeckers are the heartbeat. They represent the heartbeat for me. And, um, and that's, that's, it's all coming from love. It's all coming from love. Because it's so thick and heavy stuff, I'm gonna have to move to my press. I am using this wood for my press. It's my favorite because the two by fours or um, the two by fours in this straight edge, when you use the press, sometimes that can come in and um, and uh, melt stuff. I mean melt stuff, um, creates a, a, an edge on the piece and then you have to work to get that out, which is not fun. So my friend Joe, who is a woodworker, this was his banister, extra banister pieces, and I saw them and I kind of went, <gasps> held my breath a little bit because I knew they would be so good. And he's like, you want those? And he gave them to me, which is super cool. So thanks, Joe. Tons and tons and tons of sculptures have been pressed with these since you gave these to me. And how long has that been? Five years, maybe more? Probably more than that, I don't know. But I love them and they work so good. And I have three of them, which is absolutely perfect because I've got two on the bottom and one on the top here, and doo -doo 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 -doo. away we go. Oh, maybe I didn't tighten down. Can't go anywhere if you don't tighten it down.
Very nice. Now I've got to go back in and, and redo the bends that, that unbent, but it's very, very lovely. All right, so I have the top two shaped and ready to go. Don't have it in me to do the the bottom ones yet today. So that, that'll happen tomorrow. I'm a little tired now, which is all good. Give it my all when I'm giving it, so it's okay. And then um, the sandblasting's super cool because that gives me a good idea about um, where it's gonna go and what's gonna happen. And so I'll hit it one more time with the sandblaster, um, but it'll be light and easy um, before we move into the patinas and after the rest of the welding. But I wanted to get everything done because it's easier to do it when it's in this stage than it is when, um, when it gets all mounted and, and on. So yeah, okay, super fun. All right, done for the day. Gonna take a cruise in my sculpture garden to just do a loop and, oh yeah, feel that breeze, which is so amazing. And the way that the light is filtering through, it's just so beautiful, gorgeous time of year. I still have some blooms out and about. Yay for them. Oh. What a great day. I'm so happy about the sandblasting because that is so cool that it wasn't messy and icky and yucky. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys, I hope that you're doing something creative today. It could be anything because that changes things up and allows new things to come into your life and that you're doing something fun because that's the pathway of the divine. All right, Jay Stargard out. Mwah. Which one are you gonna do? This one? That one's pretty fun. That one's cool. That one though, that one. Mm, that one might be my favorite. This one's pretty fun too though. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.